In this demonstration, I will be showcasing another valuable feature introduced by the Microsoft team in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations, named as Approved Customer List. This functionality enables administrators to configure rules that restrict the sale of certain products to specific customers. Before we dive into this product demo, I have prepared a presentation to help you understand the feature in more detail. As you, there is a company called Global Tech Solution and they sell the electronic products or equipments to their customers. And they have two different segments of product. One is consumer grade electronics and another is industrial grade equipment. When we talk about consumer grade electronics, it has products such as wireless headphones, smartphones, sensors, Bluetooth speakers. It mainly, these segments are for their retail customers. Another segment which is industrial grade equipment, it comes with PLCs, industrial IoT devices, rock tablets. These segments is mainly for their industrial customers or manufacturing customers. So ideally, this company wants to have a control in the system that whenever any, any customer falls under the retail customer group or retailers and distributors customer group, the applicable item which will be allowed to sell, which is wireless headphones, smartphone sensors, Bluetooth speakers. The flip side, whenever they select any customer falling under the industrial customer group, the only applicable item which will be showcasing or visible in the sales order, sales agreement or sales quotation, which is PLCs, industrial IoT devices and rock tablets. This control can be enforced in Dynamics GTI Finance and Operation going forward from 10 of 44 version. So now I'm in Microsoft Dynamics GTI Finance and Operations. In my screen, in the feature management, the feature name is Approved Customer List which I have enabled it. If you see the description of this feature, it says this feature allows administrators to set up rules that restrict the sale of specific products to specific customers. The feature applies to sales orders, sales quotations and sales agreements. Now let's have a look what we have as a new with this feature. Once the feature is enabled, we will quickly jump into the release product form and under the sale tab, we will see one segment has been given called approved customer. Under this, two new options are given. Approved customer list check method and approved item group. Let's understand it in detail. So this approved customer list check method means if we select no check, user can select this item with any customer regardless of the setup. If we talk about not allowed, that means only the allowed customers with this item can be selected in the sales order, sales agreement and sales quotation. And warning only means if the customer is not added into this item setup and if we try to, if we try to select that customer with this item, system will still validate it and it will give the warning but it, it will still allow you to proceed further with the documents. Now we will test this by keeping it not allowed. And remember, as of now, we have not added or you have not configured any setup with this item for any customer. So that means ideally, if we select this product with any customer, it will give us the error. Let's see. I will quickly go to sales order form and we'll create a new sales order and we'll select this customer. We'll select warehouse site, we'll click OK. And in the line, I will select that item which we have configured as not allowed. So I'm selecting this item. So now I will notice there is an error that customer code CU0001 is not allowed authorized for 1000 product. So that is the error which user will get while selecting the item if that is selected as not allowed and that customer is not added into that item configuration in approved customer list. Now I would like to show the warning message if we keep the check method as warning only. I have changed the setup for this item to warning only and I will use this same item in the same sales order to see the warning message. I have selected this item and if you notice the warning message has popped up. And since it's warning, you can still go ahead and proceed for further steps like confirmation, pick and pack and you can proceed further with this sales order. We will see how to add customers in the item list. To add customer or customers into the approved customer list, we can add it from the release products, select the item from the action pane sale. There is new option called approved customer and under approved customer, you can click on setup 
and then you can add the customers one by one like you can add customers from here you can add dimensions from here and you can also add effective date and expiration date as well however please note this form is for only item by item you cannot add multiple customers for multiple item in approved list in one go how to do that with this new feature there is new option is available under the product information management which is approved customer list under the setup there are two options approved customer list setup and approved item groups we will explore this approved customer list setup first and click on this and from here as i mentioned earlier from this approved customer list setup we can configure approved customer list in bulk we can select one customer we can select item or we can select customer group item group so combination of both the system will allow us to select item with the customer let's see how we can do that we'll click on new we'll select one customer this customer and then we'll select the item the 10000 and we will we can select the effective date and expiration date since we don't have any dimension in this product so i will create another line item which will have dimension as color and then we will test that as well i will select new i will select the same customer now i will select the item 4401 now in the color i will select black if i keep it blank that means system will allow us to select this item with this customer with any color but since we are adding color now it will only validate it will allow us to select the item with only black that means even if we select 4401 with this customer and if we select other color like blue green system will validate and give us a error because allowed item is 4401 with color black i have configured this now we will test this in a sales order now i am in the sales order page i will click new i will select the same customer what we have configured i will select warehouse and site and i will click okay to create the sales order now interesting part with this new feature when you click item number when you a user is going to select the item since the configuration is done then going forward by default user will be able to see the approved item not all the items will come when this setup is configured so you can see for our case this customer have only two options or two items are approved right so for that reason these two items are coming in case they want to see all items they can change this and they can select all items as well but for now as since we have configured this approved item list these two items will come we will test one by one so we will select this 1000 and see there is no error if i even save this one there is no error the reason is we have added this into the approved item list for this item now we will select another line which we have have configured for 4401 and once we talk about this 4401 since we have configured this 4401 and with the color black so we will select another color to see is there any error coming or not we will select blue we'll select save and if you notice the customer code cu0001 is not authorized for 4401 blue the reason is here we have configured this and with the variant we have allowed only for black color so if you select any color than black the error will come i will just delete this or cross this one and i now i will change this from blue to black now if i save this one you will see there is no error so that is the nice thing about this approved customer list setup from here you can select uh, item with the dimensions with the customer now we have configured with cust customer and item one is to one setup now what we will see we will see the customer group and the item group combination now let's revisit our scenario we have a consumer electronic item groups intended for retail customers to configure this we will start by creating the item group and then add the relevant items to it 
let's see how to do that to configure this we need to go to product information management under the approved customer list we'll go to approved item groups so from the approved item groups we will add the items into the item approved item group so as you can see i have already created an item group for you you can create a new you can click on new and create the item group like this give a name and give a description and here you need to add or we need to add the item or items in the list so there are two ways to do that you can click on add and add items one by one or you can go to this assign items using query how it works you can click on select query and if you have some item list with you then you can give the filter here by comma separated option and then you can click on ok so for me there is no filter so that means every item will come to this query and then for me i will just delete couple of them or maybe i'll keep only 4402 and 4403 for now and i will remove everything otherwise we will not be able to understand this requirement now everything is removed only these two items are there i will click on this add to all group after selecting all and it will come to the item list so now we have completed the setup for app group item groups where we have added the items to the retail item groups now we will add the customer to the approved customer group from where we will do that to do this we need to go to the sales and marketing module and under this setup there is an option called approved customer groups so click on it and you will notice the form is very similar but this is for approved customer groups the previous one was approved item groups so here the same thing we need to add the customers in the customer list either you select from assign customer using query then select query or you can add manually the customers using the add option so i will add customers two customers first i will select this customer customer 002 and then i will select the customer for customer 004 so now we have completed the setup of approved customer groups and also the previously we have completed the approved item groups so now we will create the combination in the setup let's do that to do this configuration you need to go to product information management the same form which is approved customer list setup we'll click on it new and in the customer code we'll select group and in the customer relation we'll select the customer group which you have created which is retail and in the item code we'll select group and the item relation which we will we'll select the item group which you have created retail items so what we have done we have added the customer group and the item relation as a group so that the customers which are in the retail customer group and the item items which are in the retail item groups those are actually approved so any customers falling under this retail customer group will be allowed to use the items which are under the retail item groups now the left hand side the retail customer group and item group is configured we will test this one and while you are doing this you can configure the other group as well before we test this to sales order i will configure this item to not allowed check you go to this 4402 sell tab and the approved customer list check method i will change this to not allowed and if you notice the approved item group is automatically selected as retail but we have not added it since we have configured this in the other page the configuration it is automatically added here we will go to the another product 4403 and do the same thing now our configuration is done we will now go to sales order and test this scenario i am in the sales order page i will create new and while we are selecting the customer i will just quickly show you from the approved customer list setup what we have done we in the customer relation we have added the group of retail and in this retail we have added customer 002 and 004 so i will select customer 002 and 004 tab select customer 002 i will fill up other details and we'll create the sales order now from the line we can see the approved items are only 4402 and 4403 Let's have a quick look. What we have done in the item relation, we have added the group called retail, and in that item group, we have added four four zero two and four four zero three. That is the reason it is showing us the item number for this customer 
is approved items are 4402 and 4403. If I select this 4402, they will notice there is no error. So now what I will do, I will select another customer which is not, not part of this approved list. So ideally for that customers, the item will not be allowed and it system will give us the error. Let's see. I will create another new sales order. I will select a customer which is not part of this setup. And from the item number, I will select 4402. You will notice the error will state that customer code this is not allowed or not authorized for 4402. The reason is this customer is not part of this group and the customer which we have added, we have already tested and there is no error for that. So this is all about the new customer approved list feature, a powerful and very useful addition. I hope this demo provides a detailed end-to-end -end walkthrough to help you understand how the feature works and explore its various applications within business processes.